for luxury cars linked to Singapore's worst money laundering case were towed out of a good class bungalow GCB in 3rd Avenue off Bukit Timer Road on Wednesday. At around 2.30 p.m., a red Rolls Royce Dawn, a black Rolls Royce Cullinan, a red Porsche 911 Targa and a white Toyota Alphard were removed by the police from the sprawling complex of more than 19. 000 SQ thought the cars are worth over $4.7 million, according to an affidavit filed in September by a Commercial Affairs Department CAD officer. The GCB was rented by Vanuatu National Su Jian Feng, 35, who is one of the 10 accused in the case. The Straits Times saw one police vehicle in the bungalow and four tow trucks outside the compound. At least, eight police officers were at the property. The first to be towed out was the Cullinan, followed by the Don, the Alford, and then the Targa. Each of the four tow trucks had a police officer accompanying the driver. ST followed the seized vehicles to a logistics hub near Pioneer Road, where all four cars were parked. There were several other luxury vehicles parked in the same area, including a light blue Rolls Royce. On Wednesday, the police said they seized items issued with prohibition of disposal orders relating to the money laundering case at two locations. Four cars and 56 spare brick ornaments were seized. The police did not say where the other location was. A bare brick, stylized SB at rubric, is a collectible toy figure produced by Japanese collectible company Medicom Toy. The toys, shaped like an anthropomorphic bear and made of plastic, come in different sizes, for instance, 100%, 400%, or 1000%, with the percentage corresponding with the height. Mr. Sean Wee, the owner of collectible store for toys, had told ST in August that the bear bricks seized in the rates could be worth between $450,000 and $500,000. The police said, as part of the investigation process, the police are moving the seized items to appropriate locations to prevent tampering, loss, destruction or any other occurrence which may diminish their evidentiary value. The cars were among the 62 vehicles and 152 properties issued with prohibition of disposal orders by the authorities. This means they cannot be sold. The vehicles and properties are worth more than $1.24 billion. The case is also considered one of the world's largest money laundering cases. The police had said in August that Su was arrested at his residence in 3rd Avenue. He faces four money laundering charges. On October 18, prosecutors said he had claimed to be the chief executive of a computer support firm but did not know where his office was. In fact, investigations show that this firm, Enshing Technology, is a shell company, said the prosecution in arguing against granting him bail. The CAD officer's affidavit had said more than $231 million worth of assets belonging to Sue and his wife have been seized or subjected to prohibition of disposal orders. They include 13 real estate properties worth over $115 million, 4 vehicles worth over $4.7 million, $18.4 million in cash, $66 million in bank accounts and $26 million worth of cryptocurrency. According to an accounting and corporate regulatory authority search, Sue has another registered address at a St. Thomas Walk condominium. He is wanted in China for alleged links to an illegal gambling gang uncovered in 2017. Another of the accused, Cypriot national Wang Dihai, is wanted for his part in the same operation. This is the second time this week that ST has seen items being moved out from GCBs linked to the accused individuals in the money laundering case. On Monday, at around 2 p.m., ST saw workers packing items into cardboard boxes at a GCB in Nassim Road.
The pellets were then moved into a truck at about 6.10 p.m., leaving the area 10 minutes later. Su Baolin, who faces two forgery charges, had rented the GCB in Nassim Road with his wife Morning. There were several cars parked on the street during the operation. ST also saw plainclothes police officers there. Last Wednesday, ST saw items being removed from another GCB in Bishopsgate, off Tanglin Road, by movers. The house is rented by another accused, Bang Shuiming, or Wang Shuiming, and his wife Wang Ruyan. Bang faces four money, laundering charges and one charge of using a forged document. The items, which included one pallet of about 50 bottles of Macallan, 25 years sherry or whiskey, were loaded into an air-conditioned truck. Each bottle of the whiskey costs between $4,000 and $5,000. The truck, which was escorted by the same car present in Nassim Road on Monday, then travelled to Lou Freeport, Singapore, a high-security storage facility in Changi North Crescent. It is touted as the safest area in Singapore for wealth protection. Shinmin Daily News had reported last Friday that a number of other assets, including a Rolls-Royce and a Bentley, were also transported from the Bishop's Gate House. Plainclothes police officers entered the property and remained there for about four hours. An anti-money laundering operation on August 15 involved more than 400 police officers and saw raids at properties in areas such as Tanglin, Bukit Taima, Orchard Road, Sentosa, and River Valley. Ten foreigners, all originally from China, were charged the next day with offences including money laundering, forgery and resisting arrest.